another sunny day. Look at it. A cold sunny day, but a sunny day. Beginning of March. And we're on the bike. Oh, welcome back everybody. And welcome to the channel. Right, we'll see how the audio sounds today. I've turned the sensitivity of my microphone up one notch. So we'll see how it sounds. Oh, I can feel that cold air on my legs. Oh, it certainly is fresh. So, 8th of March tomorrow, all the schools are back. So we'll see how that pans out. But I do think something needs to be done. They do need to be getting back into school. I would like to mention our summer tour. What we're going to be doing. And we had plans originally. We were going to be going down to Limoges in France to see Orador Seglane, the massacred village. Not knowing at the moment what's happening. Some of these countries now are saying you've got to have had both vaccines before they'll let you in. Um, and I don't think all of us would have had vaccines by the time we get to July. I don't know, I don't know. I don't know where it's panning out at the minute, what the government plans are. Uh, some of the guys in the group have had their vaccine, the first one, because obviously they're old codgers. But obviously me being a young spring chicken, I'm lower down the pecking order. And then you don't know whether these countries are going to say, what, we want a vaccine passport. And I just said, look, you know, there's a chance we could still go to France, but I don't know, there's that much at the minute. I don't think this year I said we it's going to be fully settled and you know we book it all up and then at the last minute we still can't go and we lose the money so I said no I said let's make the decision we all voted let's make the decision to cancel so we all agreed that we will um, we will look at overseas next year but hopefully things have settled down and gone back to normal so we cancelled France and we have decided to do a south coast tour of the UK. So we're still looking at the same dates in July. We're going to do a south coast tour. Over the five days. Camping. We're going loaded up. The bikes are going to be loaded. We're going camping and we're heading towards Oakhampton. Tiverton area where we're going to base ourselves and what we're going to do is each day uh, we're going to do it a bit like a spider effect so each day we can kind of ride out to the different areas so I've, I've planned the routes already we haven't planned what days we're going to do which route but we're going to have like one day we'll we'll head to Minehead ride along the coast over to is it Valley of the Rocks I believe up to Wilford Croom Woolacombe down Barnstable. Another day, we'll then ride over to Bude, head south, Padstow, down to Newquay. Another day, we'll head south and do Plymouth, Torquay, Exeter Way. And then the other day, we'll do, we'll head over to the east and do Weymouth, Paul, Bournemouth, Lulworth Cove. So that will be our summer tour. A south coast tour we've had a few people ask if they can come along to it and what we want to do is these I mean there's 13 of us in the group so this our big tour we want to class it more like our um, like our, our family holiday that's our main family holiday so the big two we, we want to keep it just to ourselves um, you know, it takes a lot of organising, especially with all the cameras. So we're not opening that tour up to the public. Uh, obviously, if anybody's down in those areas, you know, I suppose we can post each day where we're going to be. If you want to meet up and come for a ride, you're more than welcome. 
might be quite easy to do you know we could say like right we're on our way to Bullockham we'll be there in about an hour and a half so anybody local or who wants to pop down and come for a ride you're more than welcome but we're not opening the actual tour up to us we've had a hell of, hell of, blah, 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 blah. we've had a hell of a game to get a campsite for the 13 of us and the main reason seems to be most campsites don't want 13 blokes on bikes you know I did say to some of them you know not roadie bikers or anything like that which they understood and they said but we don't allow group parties of single sex groups and I can understand what they are saying because I've done it by done it myself before we've been away in our caravan and next to us there's been like a, a group a six or seven party you know and then again they wasn't loud or rowdy or offensive anything like that but when you've got quite a few people sitting outside their tents of a night chatting it's quite loud when there's six or seven people and obviously we was in the caravan Trent was only young so you know we, we were trying to get Trent to sleep you know and people don't want large groups of people chatting you know if we're sitting outside till 10 11 of a night you know having a beer nothing ridiculous partying or nothing like that but 13 people it can it can be quite a bit loud and I can understand you know some people don't want it and I think that's why a lot of campsites don't like group bookings I did try and explain to some of the sites that you know we're going to be out all day long we'll only be coming back at tea time to the campsite but we got a lot of knockbacks. We had a lot of campsites, wouldn't even reply. But we found a campsite. Absolutely fantastic little campsite. And they welcome groups of bikes. So absolutely brilliant. I'm not going to give out the name of that site. They don't want it. No, I wouldn't say that it's not so much they don't want it publicising we're lucky to get us 13 in there she said we're basically we, we're on the limit for us group I don't want to advertise a campsite yet in case another 30 bikes turn up and it jeopardises us and we get refused then so I know it sounds it sounds horrible and we don't you know we don't intend it to be that way uh, every other ride we do everything you know the Adam Valley when we do Lake Verne we as soon as lockdown we can get out we're planning on doing church trust again every ride we do or anything else we open up to anybody's welcome to come but this this one our big holiday you know our family holiday we want to keep this to us to the 13 of us one because logistically 13 is enough it's enough to manage 13 people we know the routes we know each other we know kind of we know each other's tipping points, so we work well. And I think for that long of a little mini tour is bringing in people we don't really know is, you know, you, you can upset the balance. Not only for us, but for that person. You know, we, the last thing we want to do is, is for somebody to not feel comfortable or somebody doesn't click with somebody and we have an atmosphere you know it's that's not what we want to do so these two are our southern tour is it's for us the 13 but every other tour every other road every other camping weekend is open to anybody so i hope you all understand but i think it'll be i think it'll be a good little tour you know it's we're hoping that's the you know we've got to hope for the best we can get this year yes there's a possibility you can get over to europe but you know we've had enough rubbish and crap this year i don't want to be left hanging and then it all goes belly up at the end and i said look guys let's let's just make the most of what we got and everyone agreed they all said we then looked at uh, picking actually using hotels like each night have a different hotel and do the south west coast 700 mile route and go all the way around the only hotels we could find to get 13 of us in were travel lodges and the same with the travel lodges. They wanted the money up front. It was like 1,800 quid up front. And you know, we thought, oh, again, a bit of the gamble. I mean, because for all we know, these dates could get pushed back 
for this easing of the lockdown. They might all go belly up with these schools going back. It might push back the the April step of the lockdown. It might push back the May step. So, and another thing we had a problem with with the travel lodges is some of the rooms. Obviously, we had to get a a twin room or a triple room but some of the beds was he would got one bed in it one adult bed and the other bed was an infant bed so the infant bed was three foot three foot six long I think so whoever's going to be sleeping that's not your legs are going to be hanging on the floor at the end so we said nah everyone agreed camping we did a little vote everyone was happy to camp I mean I have to I love camping on the bike I do enjoy it so we're going to camp. We're going to have our little camp, and the little campsite we've got, um, they don't have particular pitches laid out. Just said so you can go anywhere you want. So we can create ourselves a big communal circle if we want with our tents. So I think that's what we'll do. We can all have electric because we're all having small tents. The campsite's allowing us to have two tents per pitch, so it's only costing us half the price. So it's costing us each about £65 to camp for the weekend, so that's not bad. And I said, and obviously the money we'd put away for France, we can use it for next year. So that's our summer tour, the South Coast Tour 2021. And yeah, we'll have, we'll have to sort that out. We'll figure out what kind of days we're doing what routes on. And we'll have to put up you know, tomorrow we're going to be... We've, we've, we've worked out the days, so we know like, day one will be this route, that route. But we might switch them days around. Like, instead of doing the north coast on the first day, we might do that on the second day. So we just haven't confirmed that yet. But we can always put that out there. And if any of you have got any recommendations or places or spots... I mean, I've done quite a lot of holidays down south myself so I fully know Wollacombe and Ilfracombe and all that area I know Weymouth and Lordworth Cove all that area I know Newquay I know Paul Padstow area I do know all that way but there might be some hidden gems some hidden roads some hidden routes you might be able to help us with so for now I'm going to go in. See you later. Have fun. See you on the next video.